and let's and now have a look at uh, the pretext for war in relation to or with special reference to Bush speeches after 9-11. Uh, Bush speeches immediately after 9-11 created a rhetoric for revenge, uh, revenge of the evil which was generated against uh, American people and he intended to take revenge. But this, uh, once they had attacked uh, Afghanistan, and uh, and the world has already condemned the, the perpetrators of those terrorist against uh, terrorist acts against uh, America. Uh, now America had little legitimacy to wage a war against any other country. Uh, uh, since American administration was intending to wage a war against Iraq, so they they need a new logic, new 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 reason for that. Uh, and the emotionalization of facts for, for the sake of revenge and justice were uh, still reasons but were not good enough reasons at that time uh, to wage a war against any other any other country uh, who were not directly involved in, uh, in, in attacks against America. At this point uh, Bush speeches took a new turn and in his speeches according to uh, the study conducted by Bhatia, the uh, terrorism was equated with uh, weapons of mass destruction. And it was showed to the world, it was told to the world that uh, there are certain groups, uh, maybe certain governments and other uh, groups who are sponsoring terrorism, who, uh, they are building, uh, they are developing weapons of mass destruction and they, they could possibly destroy the world. And in ignoring these forces, who uh, those terrorist cells and outlaw regimes who are developing those uh, weapons, if if we ignore them as a world community, as uh, as propagated by uh, President Bush, uh, this would turn into a catastrophe and would probably ruin the world uh, beyond our imagination. And this was repeated time and again in the speeches of of uh, President Bush, which he delivered in order to create a pretext of war against Iraq. That uh, terrorism is now conceptualized as chemical, biological and nuclear, which if dealt with the peacement, some kind of uh, uh, mild reaction, uh, would uh, lead to a destruction of a kind never seen, never seen before. You can see uh, here we can see some references to time also, temporal references, the words like this century never before were repeatedly used by uh, President Bush during his speeches in this period and they invoke such references invoke history, past experiences and such invocations exaggerate the threat, element of threat which would, uh, uh, which would possibly make people and the nations more fearful of it has its threats and could uh, give a moral authority to American government to to lead to another war against another nation. Uh, in order to persuade audiences uh, that immediate action is a matter of necessity, uh, there was a kind of uh, uh, relation created between attack and defense. Uh, and when this was created, this probably uh, created another emotional, uh, emotional situation which people were convinced that uh, probably in order to uh, make their defense uh, uh, more strong, uh, stronger than the past, uh, they need to attack another nation. So, because indifference would be catastrophic, this is what President Bush said in one of his speeches. So repetition of the verb in his speeches, a verb like attack in, in conjunction with other hyperbolic adjectives like catastrophic shows the kind of mindset American administration was in. They wanted to convince people, they wanted to emotionalize the situation and uh, even uh, sensationalize, dramatize or exaggerate the events to get the desired results. But this is what uh, we can say a kind of dramatization of the events to create certain uh, socio-political agenda and uh, maybe maybe seen from the perspective of uh, propaganda generation so uh, 
as as we had seen there was no uh no uh, uh, no uh, weapons of mass destruction found in iraq supposedly uh, so this was just built on to create a rationale uh, for conducting a war against iraq the use of emotionally charged vocabulary is an effort to gather support of the people um, especially american people and the support of allies forces who were were with america at that time to to root out terrorism from the world the discourses uh, produced during this period period uh, uh, which was creating a pretext for war, war against iraq was built up uh, built up to the iraq invasion indicated that support would only be achieved if they were presented as legitimate and progressive step and american administration led by president bush were convinced that they can get a support of their people and their allies for an uh, for an invasion of iraq only when they can uh, they they do emotionalize situation in their favor and they they create a rational argument and that's why they they introduced uh, some more uh, uh, fearful elements like weapons of mass destruction and they equated attack and defense and 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 thought both of them necessary simultaneously so uh, this created a pretext for war uh, in this way we can see that how uh, the discourse about about terrorism has been manipulated by then american administration for their own political and social goals according to a research conducted by batia